Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Learn Web Coding. My name is Durgesh Sahani and we are creating series of video tutorials for CRUD operation in React using PHP API and MySQL database. So in the last session we have seen how to design the database in MySQL uh, using PHP MyAdmin and also we have designed this form and uh, also have managed the states and on form submission we are getting this data. Now in this session we are going to see how to send this data to PHP API and uh, save it to in MySQL database. So to sending this data to PHP, we have to make a API call and to do so, we have to actually install one package into Ajax, uh, sorry, in React and that is uh, Axios. With the help of in npm install, we can say uh, npm install uh, xcs and once it will be installed it is installed now you can simply import it here import xcs from xcs and once it is installed uh, imported then you can simply uh, use it like this and uh, with a get post put delete methods so in this case i'm going to use post method so it accept actually three parameters and the first one is URL. So in our case, URL will be uh, HTTP colon double forward slash local host. And my I'm using this uh, tool called VAMP in my case, which is um, MAMP, sorry, uh, which is having PHP and Apache installed with the help of this also mysql uh, and it is installed at this directory and it is running on uh, if you want to see the port this 8080 sorry 8888 okay so this is the port which where the my local host is running so i'm just going to say 888 and then uh, we will be having one api directory which is not yet created we will create it and after it we will be having users and then save so it should be hitting to this uh, URL along with the inputs data which we already receiving. So it should be making call here and uh, now let's go ahead and create this API first. So again open this, this tool, go to preferences and go to server, open the folder here. I'm just going to create one directory API and let's open this directory into our code editor and uh, we will create file inside it and just name it index.php you can actually for api you can use anything like lumen or slim um, built-in frameworks but i just wanted to show you guys from the scratch how you can write the apis okay so we have created a file you can open php script uh, php script tag like this and whether it, just for testing purpose we are going to see whether it is coming to this location or not save and if you go to localhost slash api you should be receiving this message and similarly once we post the data from here we should also receive the same message let's say save okay we are getting some error here and what it say okay got it so actually we are getting this error because um, this is trying to get go to here but uh, this directory is not exist right so it is failing so we have to uh, let php know that or apache know that this is the uh, i mean mode rewrite we have to enable so that it should handle this kind of url and i think you can just simply go to lumen um and lumen has the way lumen handle this url i think we can also use the same so go to the public and they have this htaccess file and this is the basically rule this rewrite engine on and this is the rule we, we will be needing so just i'm going to copy this and let's create a new file again dot ht access paste it uh, you don't need authorization header. You don't need this one also. We will be just needing 
these many things save this and uh, try to hit this url again okay now we are getting this testing so i think this also issue should also receive resolve from here api users okay i think now we are getting the another error which is uh cross origin okay so basically this error is occurring because uh this site is running on localhost 3000 port and this site is running on localhost 8888 port so both the urls are different it is considering so we have to do something here in php there is a way uh you can set a header uh like this allow and for now i'm just going to say allow to every every origin refresh the page and try again okay now it's saying we should also allow this headers okay let's copy this duplicate this line and paste it here save this file refresh it again hit enter okay great we don't have any error anymore and if you go to the down side here somewhere let's refresh send so we are receiving the message from server so now the application are connected um, react application is able to make connection to this php api we have solved this course issue in the next session i'll show you how to read the data actual data and save it into uh, database